she was seven excuse my messy hair today it is late it's raining outside we had three different climates all in one day i live in texas y'all <laughs> it was hot this morning warm this afternoon cool this evening and now it's freezing okay we had tornado watches and it dropped like 30 degrees in one day okay anyway so this video is a video request. Um, someone asked me to go into how to create a relationship out of just by dating someone. Like after you've been dating someone for a while, you want to take it to the next level, you want to be an exclusive couple. How do you make that transition? Um, well, there's two ways. Now, I know a lot of people aren't going to, you know, agree to this, but if you're just dating someone and you have not had sex yet, this is how you can get to the next level. Um, when you first start dating and the conversation of sex comes up, you just simply say, I'll only have sex in committed relationships. Okay. Um, this way, if he wants to become an item, a couple, a boyfriend, he's going to have to put in that commitment in order to get you know to the next level to sex um now if you've already had sex with someone you're just casually dating well they don't really need as a man they don't really need to make you their girlfriend because they've already got you know girl boyfriend benefits okay so they're not going to be as excited or uh, in a hurry to become your boyfriend because they've already, they're already getting sex. Okay, they, there's nothing that they haven't gotten that's going to uh, make them change their mind. So, in that case, I would cut sex off. I would take sex off the table until you're in a committed relationship. You know, say, well, I don't feel comfortable having sex with you anymore until we're in a committed relationship. You know, um, I feel like you're getting girlfriend benefits without me being a girlfriend you know just be straight up just be honest just put it out on the table because men will respect you for having standards because then they will say well in in their mind they're thinking well she does not want to continue doing this she wants a real relationship um so she's not going to do this with other guys that she's casually dating um she wants something real and you know she's she wants to take this to the next level she just doesn't want to be you know casually having sex with me or men she's dating in general so you know they're gonna reason that this is a good thing um, and if they don't want to take it to the next level then you already know they were just using you for the sex okay so don't be afraid to tell don't be afraid to cut them off don't be afraid to tell them what you want okay um, a lot of girls will wait around for the guy to ask them to be their girlfriend but men are not going to run towards commitment, okay? This is the woman's job. The men will chase you for the date. The men will ask you out. The men will say this, the men will say that. But it's the woman's choice to accept that man as their partner. So they're waiting on you to say, hey, I wanna be more than what we are. And then that leaves them the choice to agree or disagree. Okay, but you have to be able to accept them as they are. They don't know if you're looking for someone better. They don't know if you're just playing around too. So you need to tell, you need to put it on the table. Look, I don't want to have sex no more outside of, of a committed relationship. Do you want to take this thing to the next level, to the next level or not? And when you cut them off in the bed and you put, put that on the table, it's either A, they're going to have to start all over dating somebody else, spending money on somebody else to get this to get to the same point again in a few months because another girl's going to ask the same question. 
or b they're gonna go ahead and say yes let's let's do this let's be a couple or if they only wanted you for sex in the first place they're gonna be like no i'm not trying to commit da, 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 da. and they'll go on about their business and they'll start all over with another girl okay so you know that's their life that's their choice but you won't be stuck in it and you won't be waiting and you won't be wondering you know i always say say what you mean and mean what you say um especially when it comes to commitment because in this day and age relationships are crazy there's all sorts of relationships you have people that are casually dating casually just having sex casual just hanging out just being friends just having friends with benefits you have to put a label on it okay and by putting a label on it, you are uh, putting standards on it as well. You know, girlfriends get check-ins, girlfriends get phone calls, texts, gifts, um, dates, all that kind of stuff, okay? They get all those things. Dating someone, you just, you don't, you don't, you're not guaranteed a phone call. You're not guaranteed a text. You're just, you know, let's go out, let's hang out. When I'm done, we're done, okay? Uh, so... If you're checking in and y'all are just casually dating and you text him and, you know, check in and stuff, you're acting like a girlfriend when you're not a girlfriend yet, okay? So you don't have, you don't do that until y'all are officially together because if you're always telling him where you are, what you're doing, and da 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 you know, it's too easy for him. He's going to be like, okay, she's bored. You know, I'm not ready for that yet and it's getting on my nerves. It's like she's too clingy already. Don't check in if you're not his official girlfriend. You don't have to answer the phone all the time. So... Yeah, so no girlfriend benefits, no wife benefits to anybody you're just dating, okay? Don't cook, don't clean, don't do laundry, don't do any of that stuff. Don't offer anything. Otherwise, you're giving up free services for someone that don't won't even claim you, okay? Now, if this person is just dating you to just be dating because they don't want to be lonely and but they don't want a serious connection they just want a friend to date then you also have to understand that you can't force a man who's not ready financially to be a boyfriend okay you if he's if he's financially ready to be a boyfriend then of course ask him you want to take this thing to the next level da, 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 da. but if he's not ready financially you know if you think he's struggling or something and or not ready mentally if he just got out of a relationship maybe you're just the rebound chick you know you need to wait on that if he just got out of a relationship you need to wait on that because a lot of times men will use a woman to get over their their past relationship and then eventually go back so you gotta you gotta wait for them at least after they gotten out of a relationship at least a year because after a year they're not going back okay the woman has already moved on believe me <laughs> um and most men they will date a woman still trying to get their old girlfriend back they will do this because they're dating a woman, getting sex, but still trying to get their ex back at the same time because they truly don't believe it's over in their mind until she's often married and living with this other dude. Then they finally give up and then they start going into, into this depression. And if you're dating them or their girlfriend at the time, they're going to take it all out on you. Okay. So you don't want to be the rebound chick. Rebound chicks with guys is bad. Okay, because they they're not even thinking about you. They're focused on what they what they're trying to get back. They're just using you. Okay, so never date a guy who's on the rebound, and if you do, don't date him seriously. Okay, so make sure you ask these questions before you go on a date. When was your last relationship? When when was your last serious relationship? And they'll say, Oh, I just broke up with somebody two months ago. Mm -mm, red flag. You can date him, but don't ask to get into a serious relationship with him. Um, if he asks you, that's a different story. But don't don't try to pressure him because he's still trying to get that other thing back. Okay. Um, <laughs> like seriously, most guys try to get their exes back for at least up to six months to a year after they break up with them because one, they really don't think it's over until that woman is engaged or living with another man. They they don't think it's over. Okay. Um, it's it's a weird thing. I don't know why men do this, but. They don't think a relationship is over until the other woman is married, living with the man, has, has a kid pregnant by the other man. They don't think it's over. But, okay. So make sure it's been a long time since you've been in a serious relationship. Okay. 
uh, make sure he doesn't have any young children like that just were born two months ago because that means that you're going to have a lots of issues in that baby mama drama okay make sure he's a good candidate to be a boyfriend before you go trying to make him your boyfriend because there's some guys who are cool enough not to put you in a situation to be a girlfriend where they know they can't be a good boyfriend to you okay they will just date you but they know they're not ready they know they said you know what i don't have my stuff together i don't even have this i don't have that i'm not focused i'm not going to be make a good boyfriend i can date when i want to date and have fun you know chill but I'm not boyfriend material yet, so don't try to make me. Okay, and if you try to force someone to be a boyfriend and they're not ready, they don't have their stuff together, you're going to be upset at them. Okay, so y'all, make sure you get all the questions asked. You get all the background. You get all the information. Then you suggest taking it to the next level and say, oh, it's no pressure, I'm just, you know. I'm just ready to move forward with my life at this point. And I think that you and I would make a good team. Never use the word couple. Never use the word uh, marriage. Because this scares guys off. Use neutral words like team, partners. Uh, and when you say team and partners, in his head, it's, he's going he's gonna to think of sports and working together and making a good life. And when you say couple... He's going to think of all the mushy stuff and stuff he has to do as a boyfriend. You know, y'all have to trick men. Y'all have to use certain words, okay? And, you know, I mean, I say, I want it. I want it. I'm asking you for it. So, what's, what's your answer? I'm ready to move forward in this relationship. And you'll get your answer, you know, while wait around. Figure it out, you know, if, especially if you're in your 30s. Y'all don't have time to waste. If y'all are in your 20s, y'all have fun. You know, and y'all are close to 30 or 30, y'all start talking about that, seriously. <laughs> so, um, and also, you know, make sure that you are prepared to make room in your life for this person. Make sure your schedule is open to have a boyfriend. Make sure you're able to do, you know, certain things that you're not accustomed to doing as a single person, you know. Um, just start thinking in that direction. Write down what you want your relationship to be like as a as a couple, and start you know start talking in future terms. Like you know what? Wouldn't it be so cool if we went on a vacation here together? Or wouldn't it be so cool if we spent the weekend over here at the beach? Or you know, start talking it like couples like do like you know let's go here for the weekend include him in things and say let's do this let's do that start including him in couple ideas you know double dates and stuff if you can with couples who are girl girlfriend and boyfriend and they can put the pressure on him as well they can say oh well, when are y'all gonna be a couple that you know and you know when people say oh y'all look so beautiful as a couple it's gonna get into his subconscious mind he's gonna start thinking of you as a couple so Oh, it's getting interrupted and it's night so yeah so yeah that's that's the way to do it so if y'all have any questions put them in the comments and i'll answer and i'll see y'all later happy new year happy new year's if i don't see y'all before new year's and also if y'all have any more video suggestions um just put them below um and i will take a look at them okay